Happening today, Cleveland area crime victims are demanding action and calling for lawmakers to improve public safety. And they're taking their concerns straight to the state capitol. Our Mike Holden joins us now live with their strong message. And Mike, they're not backing down this morning. Danita and Mike, good morning to you. They are ready to fight. They are ready to express their concerns directly to those lawmakers. As you can see right here behind me, a very different scene in comparison to an hour ago. That bus right there will soon be full of supporters and victims that have survived these violent acts. As you can see over here, a lot of these folks are just beginning to file into this church. And that includes Brenda Glass right here, who is helping direct the bus driver as well as other folks. And Brenda, I know it's a busy morning as you're kind of orchestrating all these efforts. We've covered your story extensively here on News 5. I know my colleague Delon has spoken with you as well. You yourself are a survivor. Tell me a little bit about how you've been personally impacted by domestic violence and how you're working to change these efforts in Cleveland. Yes, I've had many episodes of violence during my lifetime. Oftentimes there were not services that I needed. There's a lot of mental health, but the impact of violence is so great that you need more than just mental health. There's practical needs that are usually not met. And those resources have been short. You've been paying out of pocket to help families and victims in need. What is your message to these lawmakers as well as these victims? I see some folks are holding signs. What do you want to say to them to make sure that your message doesn't fall on deaf ears? We want them to know that we need more funding for trauma recovery centers. Those are the most effective and efficient ways of crime survivors to actually begin the healing process. We also want them to know that we want protection for housing for victims of violent crimes because oftentimes those victims are evicted from their homes or people won't rent to them because they are victimized. And we want employment protection. Employment is a key element to recovery and healing, but oftentimes we lose our jobs because we're not able to go to work or we are it's unsafe for us to return to the employment that we had. So we want unemployment benefits as well. Support across the board. Brenda Glass, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much. And we'll swing this way right before we head back in the studio. Danita and Mike, this bus leaving here right around 645, heading directly to the state capitol where these demonstrators will take to the steps call for change. They're also going to talk about legislation that has already been passed, but further changes. And then in addition to that, they plan on having a candlelight vigil to remember the lives that were lost. As we've seen this uptick in violence, it's been very challenging. And they say, listen, we got to do more.